previous owner uh, was kind of handy and loved doing projects, and one of his projects was this gate. This was the same concern that I had over at my mom's of you know, somebody accidentally tumbling down as they're changing their shoes or something. And this is a self-closing gate, although uh, you put a little something in front of it. I usually use a draft stopper and just put that in front of it and it'll stay open just fine. There's a full closet at the bottom of the stairs. In my old, old place, I actually would have taken a closet like this and put in some more shelving for storage, yet there is so much room down here, I never did that here, I didn't need it. So this is just plain closet storage. The broom uh, worked for me as a combination office and studio, and you can get a lot of stuff in here, uh, as I did. The view again is out to the meadows and is just gorgeous all year long. The difference in the amount of light in the room between the shades being closed or open is amazing. Uh, so you can really darken this room if you're doing a TV session or something. But during the day, there's lots of light. I love this little built-in. The previous owners put that in and as part of the deal even left me the little refrigerator. So I have like a little kitchenette almost. Uh, that and a hot pot kind of thing gave me tea. This is the third bathroom in the unit. It, this was, would have been the add-on. This is a bathtub unit. And it's got a gorgeous big cabinet under the sink, so there's lots of storage area there for the guests' toilet paper and so forth. Yeah, I, I kind of use this as a guest space. Uh, if the other room was in use somehow, uh, there was plenty of room down here.